Hey stranger. Hi. Awesome. Welcome to Money Bites. Money Bites. Yeah. Um, so, first question. Yes. What's your first memory of money? Um, I honestly probably would think like the tooth fairy comes to mind ah. first. Yeah. Did she give you a good deal? Not that much. <laughs> Not that much. That I remember. Especially when I got older, it didn't get to be that much money, but... Yeah, I do. I remember just getting money as, like, as a kid, and that was my first probably money I was given directly. So, awesome. Yeah. awesome. What about when you think now in spending yeah. uh, the hard earned fairy money, um, what do you like spending the money most on? What gives you the most pleasure? Um, let's see. I have a hard time spending money, but I often spend money on like. Uh, experiences like um, I like going out to eat and like getting to talk to people and using that like money as a way to like hang out with my friends or just connect with other people and then you know for traveling is always good and um, and then I also like recently I moved so I spent my money on um, like, I had saved up a lot. I didn't spend a lot. And then I bought, like, really cool things for my apartment that I wanted. So I got, like, a new, a new set of speakers that were really nice. And they were an investment that was going to last. So that, was, that felt like, like a good feeling to spend that money on that. And before, what did you mean by you have a hard time spending money? Um, I just... It, it kind of gives me anxiety sometimes. Um. And I also feel like I... Um, don't want to be wasteful with it like I, I don't want to be like spending money just without thinking about it because that just feels like so like not just doesn't feel right yeah that's fair that's yeah fair. when you think money then the first emotion that comes to you um probably like an anxious thought yeah like not even in a negative way it's not like it's always bad anxiety but it's like that I know that that's opening up a box and like there's like lots to like think about when it comes to money yeah awesome thank you you're welcome hi stranger welcome to money bites hi <laughs> <laughs> awesome first question what's your first memory of money my first memory of money, um, pretty early, uh, maybe three or four. Three or four? Yeah. What were you doing? My what? dad just always gave me money randomly. <laughs> what an awesome bit, dad! Yeah, I was a little spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> um, did that lead to, did he give you like money talks as well? No. Okay. <laughs> um, that came from my mom. Ah. Yeah. What was the lesson that stuck with you um just basically how to be responsible with money make sure your bills are paid mm. um pay yourself pay yourself yeah. super important yeah and you know if you work hard treat yourself super important yeah have you stuck to those lessons as an adult yes ah. <laughs> in college no of course in not. college no but as an adult yes definitely okay Having sort of looked back in your college years, would you have done anything differently? No. Ah. No, because, I mean, you have to make mistakes. You have to go through trials and tribulations to, mm. to learn. So you have to experience things. That's the only way you're going to learn. Like, my mom brought me up, and, like, she tried to drill it into my head. This is the way you manage money. Yeah. But it's different when you actually have to do it. Mm. You know? No, I wouldn't. I don't regret it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, then, what's your relationship to money? When you think money, what's the first emotion that comes up? First emotion? Uh, <laughs> I wish I didn't have to deal with it. Because mm. yeah. money is, I mean, especially the more money you make, the more issues come up. Um, I would actually say, like, now, as I'm getting older, I have a more uh, relaxed relationship with money like, because everything is so set up and automatic I don't think about it much wow so you've systemized yeah. a structure for your money management right that's yep. awesome yeah <laughs> that's awesome 
Um, five years down the road, where would you like to be financially? Financially, I would like to be able to just take a vacation whenever I feel like it. That would be perfect. On an amazing sunny day in New York. Yeah, like I don't want to be here. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm enjoying my lunch, mm. but I have to go back to work. So yeah, I would rather be on the beach somewhere. Yeah. I think that's an awesome place to wrap. Yeah. <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, stranger. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick question. So, when you think money, what's your first memory of it? My first memory of money. Um, Probably be like pots of change, loose change, my parents' house. Ah, yeah. Did you um, get to access that pot of change? Um, sometimes, like you go and buy sweets from the corner shop or something like that. You okay. Twenty p, and you can go and buy some like cheap sweeties. Gotcha, like, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there some kind of a system to your access to that change? There was very little system. <laughs> <laughs> there was more access at the weekends, less access during mm, the week. <laughs> good, good, good. But like, it was definitely a parent like mediated thing like you'd be given the money by a parent you couldn't then take money from the, the so your parents controlled the access yes yeah. did it depend on anything that you were doing like good behaviors getting rewarded or loosely but i don't remember it being very strict um so i think if you behaved well i don't know at church or something like that then you'd be more likely to get some <laughs> I think the sweeties also seem to be coming quite a lot of the time in general. Gotcha, so, keeping so. you on your toes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you think about psychology, that works pretty well. <laughs> it does, it does. What would you say is your biggest concern about money now? The biggest concern about money now, not having enough of it. <laughs> Fair. Um, but in the way that um, I'm still a student and I need to finish my degree and I haven't got any income and so it's not so much about, oh, I've got a good job and I really want to have more money. It's more like, I want to make rent and mm. I don't want to move back in my family. Yeah. Student loan sort of yeah. being in the picture. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So you being a student and you being concerned with money, is that impacting your choice of major, your choice of career prospects that you're looking at? No, not really. So I think that with, in terms of what I study, so I had a scholarship for most of the time that I've been studying, so actually... Smart lady. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so in terms of what I wanted to study, I've been able to do exactly what I want, which is great. Um, in terms of future career prospects, like... Not really, because at the end of the day, it sounds terrible, but I can always move home to my parents if I run out of money, and I don't think it's going to substantially change the jobs that I can apply for what I might do in my life. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Five years down the line, where would you like to be financially? Five years down the line, where would I like to be financially? Um, I suppose I would like to have, like, enough savings so I can think about buying a house. Or, house? Yeah. Um, I think, or like having, having a down payment first. Right, right. Um, I think I'd like to feel financially secure so that if I know unexpected things happen, I wouldn't end up like, like on the streets or like that might sound that would extreme, be bad. but that yeah. would be <laughs> But so, so that I'd have enough of a buffer that I know if someone got ill or if like something bad happened. Your emergency fund. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's a pleasure. <laughs> Hi, stranger. Hi. Welcome to Money Bites. Good uh, to be here. <laughs> first question. What's your first memory of money? Whoa. Um... I don't know what my first is, but when I was like eight, I remember spending, I was like at this parade with my family and I remember spending eight dollars on a sausage because it was like the cheapest thing and the sausage was so gross that I just had to spit it out in the trash. Oh, no. And then for my, for the next like four years of my life, every time I didn't have enough money to buy something, I kept thinking about that eight dollars. <laughs> I just had that eight dollars that I wasted. Oh, yeah. That's the first time I think I bought something that I really hated. Oh, wow. 
has that impacted your any financial purchases, decisions as you grew <laughs> beyond those four years? It definitely impacted me all through high school. I didn't really have any money then. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have a job, so I didn't know how to get money. But then I started having money, so my relationship pulled off. But definitely I've always, um, yeah, I, I've always tried to spend as little as possible. All because of a sausage? No, not all because of a <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Um, so how would you describe your relationship to money now? Um, what's, the, what's the emotion that comes up first when you think of money? Um, definitely guilt. Guilt? Yeah, I feel guilty for having money. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. Because... And then for spending it. Because a lot of people don't have as much money as I have. Okay. For structural reasons. Okay. So even though you've earned it, you feel guilty earning it and both spending it? Yeah, I mean, there's... Because of the place that I grew up, uh -huh. the minimum wage is higher, you know, uh -huh, I can earn uh -huh. more money and I don't have as much, and my, I'm graduating from college debt free, and that's Congratulations. Of, yeah, I mean, it's not me, it's not my, though I didn't work to do that, my parents are doing that, so I feel a lot of grief about that. Does that affect your spending then? Um, I think it is just that every time I, not every, but when I, when I buy nice things for myself, there's a, always a ring of gold. Interesting. Because I have a lot of friends who don't, can't as casually buy right. nice things for themselves. Are you doing anything about it? <laughs> Volunteering. First step? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Just trying to, you know, use my education for the good of the world. Yeah. That's what we go to college for. Yeah. Is there anything that you buy that you purely enjoy? Yeah, definitely. Food. Food! <laughs> yeah. So the trauma of sausage. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. The audio you just heard was recorded in Anchor. Learn more at anchor.fm.